small grower with 20 hectares, I do it all myself. Um, and of course I'm up a tree somewhere, I'm not running around doing the mon uh, monitoring all the time because I don't have that time. Uh, and the only time I get an overview of the whole orchard is when I spray or when I mow. And that's the only time I see the whole lot in one go. Now, I hadn't seen a cotton moth ever, and then my neighbour decided to go organic. <coughs> so of course he takes off his hat and puts on a halo, and I turn into the devil. <laughs> so, I was talking to Steve and I thought, right, what do we do? We put four traps on the fence, which was 200 metres, and he then, I could catch all the ones coming across from me onto him, would go into there, and of course I was hoping that anything that came from him and went down in me would come back. So, so, um, so that's what we did, and that fixed the problem. So today I learned about this line trapping that five years ago we put in place and it worked. So the thing is now is sort of, uh, when anybody says to me, oh, I've got woolly aphid, I say, what are you going to spray with? Not give him a spray to kill the woolly aphid. What have you sprayed with? It's not the only population of things that would normally counteract the woolly aphid. So there's some things that I put in the foundation building up to the woolly aphid front.